accident happened at 7.30 a.m. on Thorny Road in Guyhern, Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire police said in a statement, We are sorry to report that two men, travelling in the bus involved in the A47 collision, have sadly died. Our thoughts are with their families at this time. Seven people have been seriously injured, and 11 have minor injuries following the collision. Speaking from the scene this afternoon, Inspector Jamie Langwith from the Beds, Kemp's and Hertz Road Policing Unit confirmed the bus driver died in the crash along with another passenger. He revealed one of the victims was from Northamptonshire and the other was from Norfolk, but could not clarify which. Five other passengers suffered serious injuries, including broken bones and head injuries, while seven other people on board were also wounded. Inspector Langwith confirmed none of the seriously injured passengers were wearing seatbelts at the time, but could not state whether this included the driver. He said, we don't believe the five who were seriously injured were wearing seatbelts. It is not confirmed if the bus driver was wearing a seatbelt. Inspector Langwith said no children were on board the bus at the time of the crash. He added, we were called to a two-vehicle collision whereupon a bus has collided with a HGV lorry from Brett's Transport, where in fact they have collided together upon the junction. On arrival here there were a number of injuries, sadly too fatal. The lorry driver is not injured. We have a number of witness statements, but we are appealing for more witnesses especially with dashcams. We are currently unloading the HGV so the investigators can do what they need to do. Around 20 police vehicles could be seen at the scene along with 10 ambulances and 4 engines. Inspector Langwith confirmed weather conditions were not being considered as a contributing factor to the crash. Cambridgeshire's Police and Crime Commissioner posted a tribute to those involved in today's incident. Jason Abelwhite said, I would like to express my heartfelt sympathy to those affected by today's tragic event on A47. I want to thank the emergency services who worked together to manage the incident, making sure those injured were taken to safety. Dramatic pictures taken at the scene showed the collision. The double-decker bus appears to have collided with the side of a lorry which had been turning turn into a main road from a side road. The HGV appears to have pulled out of its depot onto the busy 60 miles per hour road and then collided with the bus. The bus involved was a first X1 XL service which was traveling between Peterborough bus station and Wisbech bus station at the time. Steve Wickers, managing director at First Eastern County said, One of our Excel buses was involved in a serious road traffic incident in Guyhern this morning whilst travelling on the A47 towards Peterborough. We have been informed there are several injuries to which some are serious. We are working closely with the police and emergency services who are at the scene local conservative MP Steve Barclay wrote on Twitter concerning news locally of road fatalities and injuries at Thorny Toll. If any constituents are affected and need support in the coming days please get in touch via my constituency office. Magda said their enhanced doctor and paramedic team were called to a major incident on the A47 in the Wisbech area involving a HGV and a bus. Cambridgeshire police are appealing for anyone who saw the crash to come forward. 
they released a statement on Twitter which read, We are appealing for witnesses following a collision on the A47 at 7. 30 a.m. this morning. Officers remain at the scene and the road is closed with diversions in place. Anyone who witnessed the incident is asked to call 101. Motorists are advised to avoid the area or expect delays. The East of England Ambulance Service said in a statement, the East was called to Thorny Road, Guyhern, following reports of a collision between a double-decker bus and an HGV. It was declared as a major incident because of the number of patients involved and the critical consequences to service delivery locally, but we stood down from this at night. 50 a.m. Read more top stories from mirror.co.uk has dispatched several ambulances and officers to rapid response vehicles, a hazardous area response team, Heart and Magpas Air Ambulance to the scene. The clinicians cared for several injured patients and have conveyed 16 to Peterborough City Hospital and Queen Elizabeth Hospitals. East thank members of the public for their cooperation, whilst all emergency services worked quickly at the scene to help all those involved. 